Ferrer was first discovered in 1913 by the French physicists Charles Fabry and Henry Bassin. The United Nations General Assembly designated September 16 as the International Day of Preservation of Ozone Day. This day is celebrated to spread awareness of ozone depletion. Ozone depletion is caused by CFCs, HCFCs, aerosols and such gases that have ozone depletion potential. Oh, there was a time when the warm glow of morning filled this old body of mine with joy. But now, the sight of each new dome just fills me with concern. The sun is a cauldron of blazing hot gases. For more than four and a half billion years, its heat has kept us alive. But along with its work, there lurks a hidden danger. Deadly ultraviolet rays or UV rays that can harm all the life on our planet. Luckily, we are protected by a brave little brand of defenders at the very edge of space. The ozone molecules, they make up our planet's ozone layer. Despite the tiny size, our ozone defenders are amazingly strong and smart. They let in the sun's life view warmth while skipping out the deadly UV rays. And things might have gone on this way forever, which led to a new prey rising from below chlorofluorocarbons, better known as CFCs, are the chemicals that cool the refrigerators and air conditioners. The CFCs are safe inside their machines, but once they escape, they begin a 25-year journey up to the top of the atmosphere where they attack the ozone layer without mercy. When the ozone layer has to fight the UVs and CFCs, it's just a matter of time until the ozone layer weakens and breaks. Who are you? Alberto Albatros, my little friend. And who might you be? Ozzy Ozone. Please tell me what about Earth is going on. Let's go and see. The chemicals that attack you are CFCs. They have been used in man's machine for over 60 years and they are quite safe until they are let out. When the developed nations realized these chemicals were harmful, they have been replaced with new ozone-friendly products. But some countries still cling to the bad old ways. Pesticides like methyl bromide can be just as dangerous and industries aren't the only one to blame. No, oh, this is terrible. We must stop them, Albatra. We can try. When there is malfunctioning air conditioner and refrigerator, it releases more CFCs and HCFCs. Those molecules go up in your sky and cause trouble for all of us. So, please don't do it again. We should prepare AC and refrigerator in case of malfunction. Some fire extinguishers use helium molecules that also attack the ozone layer. We get nasty burns because the chemicals we just release such as CFCs from refrigerators destroy the protective ozone layer created at the top of the sky. Sharing creams, bathroom cleaners, hair sprays, spray paints and all other kinds of sprays contain aerosols. So we should reduce their use. You urine sprinkle your skin and make you look much older. They cause cataracts on your eyes which can lead to blindness. And they can weaken the body's natural resistance to disease. What is even worse is that while your bodies are growing, little ones like you are particularly in danger. Because UV damage could give you cancer later on. Protect your skin by covering your arms and legs. Wear a hat to protect your face. Sunglasses to protect your eyes and sunscreen for the rest. Stay indoors when the sun is too high and always try to stay in the shade. It is very important, not just for you, but for your children. Because even if no more bad chemicals are released into the atmosphere, it would take at least 50 years to completely repair the ozone layer. And ask your parents to make sure that their old refrigerators and air conditioners are disposed of by approved technicians, especially trained people who won't let the CFCs escape. 
you are sure to tell your parents, teachers and friends about the things you have learned today. And don't forget, boys and girls around the world can make a difference because when it comes to protecting the world, every action comes. Remember, environment is no one's property to destroy. It's